Hello, my name is Joachim Strandberg and in this video I'll talk about what you might find interesting in the Ada programming language. There are many things to like about Ada and in this video I'll focus on its most important feature, the killer feature of the Ada programming language. Consider the following code. In this application there's a car type modeled as a record type with two components, age and length. Since constructors do not exist in ADA, best practice is to use functions for record type initialization. Here the function is called make, but can otherwise have any name. The idea for the application is to initialize a car instance using the make function. If it is correctly initialized, the word correct is written to standard out, otherwise wrong. Building the executable and running the application yields the expected result. Look at this code. What is wrong with it? Or let me rephrase that. How can it be improved? The problem with this code is that it's too easy to mix the variables in the make function. Assigning an age variable to a length variable produces source code that builds an executable just fine, but does not do what is intended. To mitigate this, one can take advantage of the type system in ADA by defining new types for the age and length variables. With the new type definitions in place, building and running the application yields the expected result. Attempting to mix the age and length variables in the make function results in compile time error. The application no longer suffers from the potential source of error as in the original application. Not only is it easy to create new types in ADA, it's also easy to add ranges or bounds checking to scalar variables. In this example, all age type variables have a minimum value of 0 and a maximum value of 3. Within the ADA community, this way of working by always specifying the ranges of scalar types is called working in the problem domain, not the solution domain. The idea of specifying bounds has not only turned out to be a good idea, but also an important one. To convince yourself of this, take a look at the security updates of any operating system. Many issues are due to a malicious application being able to specially craft a message or messages to the system. In the worst case, it will enable the malicious application to execute arbitrary code with system privileges. And the solution? Often it is improved bounds checking, improved input validation and input sanitization. The ADA programming language does not magically solve all security related problems. However, it does support users with specifying bounds on scalar types with a one-liner. In addition to security reasons, specifying bounds are also useful when specifying bit representations of record types. Since age type variables only contain four different values, an age type variable can be represented by using only two bits. Here it is specified that the age component is stored in the first two bits of each car instance. The length component is allowed to be stored anywhere in the bits with index from 2 to 63. If one increases the number of different values an age type contains, two bits of representation will not be sufficient and one will get a compile time error. Great control over the bit representations of types is part of the type system in ADA. The importance of the type system can also be seen in the logo where it says in strong typing we trust. I hope you enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to read your comments and what you want to know more about ADA and I'll see you soon.